Take us through the life cycle of a flexible fund in terms of asset allocation. So one of the things I believe we didn't do as well as we should have at 361 is thinking about the asset allocation decision. The start of the flexible fund was pretty much purely an equity only mandate and we weren't quick enough to adapt to the changing market conditions in terms of putting more fixed income into the portfolio. So how it's developed over time, especially in the last, I'd say, 12 to 18 months, is that we've repositioned the portfolio so that we have a larger amount of fixed income securities uh, that provides a lot more stability to the returns for investors. And who would benefit most from this investment strategy? So we believe that this uh, investment strategy is applicable to all people who want to grow their wealth over time uh, as the strategy is trying to achieve market beating returns uh, over long term periods. However, one of the advantages of the strategy is that we are trying to do this with much lower volatility than the market. And for that reason, anyone who is concerned about risk in their portfolio and would like to reduce the level of risk uh, by reducing the amount of volatility would benefit. So for example, pensioners who are required to draw down uh, on their portfolio every single month, uh, they would benefit as there would be much lower drawdowns in times of uh, market stress.